So guys, today is our last day in Tokyo. We're flying at, I think like 10 p.m. tonight. So we've got, you know, a little bit of time today. Um, it's it's kind of, we're, we've been packing this morning, so we're not leaving the hotel super early. So we're just gonna go to the government building and then maybe do a little bit of exploring somewhere mm -hmm. else. We're not 100% sure where yet. Um, but first we are going to get breakfast in um, Lawson's downstairs. So we have been collecting, I guess, like the one yen coins because you, you, there's, you get so many and nothing costs one yen. Mm -hmm. um, you know, like, I guess like a hundred yen is what, like 80p? Um, so one, pe one yen is like point seven five or something point seven three of a penny yeah so you know so, so we've been collecting them so what we've got here is how many adam um so in fives and ones okay. was um 165 okay and then we've got some just like tens and fifties so we've got how much in total 345. 345 yen in coins to spend in Lawson's on breakfast. Let's see what we get. I don't know how. Yeah. Hey guys, so we did find a little bit of extra change uh, when we were searching for our bags, but we don't know how it did, but what we bought came to more than what we were looking at anyway. So either our maps, including tax, we work it all out, including tax is wrong, or they're charging more for things. But um, yeah. We so what have we got? So this was like a curry pan. Yeah. The famous egg sandwich. The best egg sandwich in the world. And a egg croquet. Which is pretty big, you know. So yeah. We're going to start first? with the potato croquet. Do you want to go first? It's warm. Mm. How is it? It's really good. Yeah? Stop stuff in it that might be meat and it's a bit oniony curry in the middle and they like breadcrumbed but it's not it's not hot nor is it crispy so it's a bit weird that it's breadcrumbed it's a breadcrumb bread roll bread covered in its friend's skin okay Sort of one side there's shops, one side there's nightlife, and it's been amazing, hasn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's been so good. Like, I, other areas like have been really fun in the day as well, but I think Shinjuku has just been perfect for us. We were situated in such a good hotel for where it was, and, um, and yeah, just in general, having the stuff we literally had on our doorstep the restaurants, the bars. Game stations. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's, been so a, it's been amazing. We've enjoyed like every minute of it. Yeah, it's busy. Like Shinjuku is really busy. So if you're looking for somewhere that's not busy, maybe try and go for some of like the business districts. Um, but if you want stuff to do in the evening and day, then Shinjuku is your place, man. It's brilliant. So we're on our way to the Tokyo government building. Um, it's actually in Shinjuku, so it was really easy for us to walk here. It's got a viewing platform that's like free so we can have a really big like a nice sight of the rest of Tokyo. On a clear day you're supposed to be able to see Mount Fuji but it's not clear today unfortunately so we're not going to see Mount Fuji today. We'll see a lot of Tokyo though. Yeah and it's free. I like free.
So we're not the only ones to go to the government building today. There's quite a big queue. We've got in it at 11.53. So we'll let you know how long it takes. So it took us just under half an hour in the queue to get into the elevator. So not too bad. Uh, an hour of it and it's quite spacious, it's quite clean, looks good. So we are at the top of the Tokyo Government Building. So the viewing platform's on the 45th floor and there's some really good views around here. You can pretty much see 360 view of Tokyo. And I was like, I was a little worried that the other building would be so close that it would impede the view, but it's not at all. Obviously, that would be a stupid thing. Um, but yeah, it's really nice, really good views. Emily took some good videos, some good pictures that she'll stick in here. We're back in Harajuku, yeah. we're right outside to get to the street and we're going to explore a little bit more. We've only got a few more hours left in Tokyo, sad face. Um, so we're just going to go to a few of the places that we didn't go before and maybe some of the places we did. So we just stopped for some lunch, we had some okonomiyaki, it was really really nice. It was like. They, so they have like a cheese okonomiyaki, they, were, they advertise like a triple cheese one. We actually just had like cheese and pork. It was basically like a really, really cheesy omelette on top of the okonomiyaki. And it was amazing. So it wasn't like we had last time we were in Harajuku, where it was like a make it yourself, like they make it and then they just put it on the hot plate in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, so it's still like a nice experience, but you don't actually have to do any work for it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was really, really tasty. Like. Um, when he split the omelette on top and it just oozes out, you're like, oh, yeah, it was just like cheese, like literally like flowing down the sides of the okonomiyaki. <laughs> it was so nice, really cheesy. Um, but we're not, so it was quite small. We only had like one to share between us. So we're hoping to get a couple of sort of street food snacks. So we just went into a second hand clothing store called Ragtag. It only accepts like designer brands. Um, so the first and the second floor was like women's, men's, then the third floor was like all like luxury accessories and handbags. So there was like Louis Vuitton handbags, Prada, Chanel, all at obviously at slightly reduced prices because they are second hand. Um, you're not going to pick up anything for sort of less than like 200 quid though, like for a small purse. Yeah, there was the odd thing which like, yeah, it was 100, 150 pounds, but you have to basically be like, I'm settling for that. Yeah, like we saw there was a Chan like a really small Chanel purse that had been like pretty battered and beat up. Like it definitely needed some restoration and it was like well how much was that purse? Like two hundred quid? Yeah. But I'm not gonna spend two hundred pounds on a purse that looks like it's been well used. I don't think it's properly second hand because there was like a whole collection, like a luggage collection. There might, yeah. I mean, obviously there might be some that aren't second hand that they've just got as like seconds or something like that. Yeah. But certainly the majority of it was like second hand stuff. Yeah. So in Shinjuku, a lot there are a lot of thrift stores here. A lot of them will give you money for your clothes. Um, but there are some that are very picky, like you're not going to just be able to sell like your old joggers down here. But if you do have like designer brands and stuff, then you go to someone like Ragtag. That's why it's not just like, it doesn't, it's not like a charity shop. It's somewhere like someone has sold their clothes to that store and then their store sells it on. So we're at Toy Sapien and Adam just let out a massive gasp because he saw this. It's the first time. So we just went to a really nice store called Misubi. They specialise in... Furushiki. Furushiki wrapping cloths, which is like 
for like wrapping gifts and stuff with. Really, really nice store. Pretty reasonable prices. Not like cheap, obviously, they were really, really nice stuff. Um, but we got a couple to take home with us so we can wrap each other some nice gifts. So we just went to this cafe. It was a cute little like burger joint. Um, yep. It was. It wasn't like that easy to like spot. We just spotted it randomly, um, but it sounded like a little side street. It was really nice. It had like a little outside area, a little inside area. Yeah. It was yeah, good it was food, chill. good drinks. Yeah. Um, playing Queen music. I think the entire time we were there. The entire time we were there, they were playing Queen's greatest hits. Yeah, it was nice. Oh, you got Bobo? So I got one of those cheese stick dudes. So what is that? So it's like mozzarella cheese covered in potato. And then deep fried? Deep fried. And what have you put on top? I don't know. It said like mayo mix or something. Oh, that cheese pool. That cheese pool. <laughs> It's not breaking. Your arm isn't gonna get that long. That juice pool man. What you got? Number 43. What's the number 43 for? It's a crate and it's like custard, banana, and I think a chocolate brownie. Sounds in good. A crate. It's so warm. The cones they come in and misconceivingly large. But, um, it's like a chocolate ice cream cream in there. Mm, and then the brownie. What's the brownie like? Oh, yeah. Alright, it's like right. the brownies you make mum made because she can't cook properly. Mm -hmm. Calbee! So it's the same thing we had before, the little pizza bites, guys. We haven't had the pizza crisps in over a week since we found the steak crisps. Yeah. So, so our Calbee pizza bites didn't come with a sauce this time. They're saying it's inside, but I know it's not. I think they just didn't understand when Adam was asking for the sauce. Mm. To be fair, they're pictured without the sauce. Um. And I think I remember on the day we came, it said, for this day, you can pour as much sauce as you want on. Uh. So maybe it was just like a that day kind of thing. Still good. Still, still good. Still good, apparently. No oh god, it's hot for still, still good, but not as good. Hey guys, so this is kind of pretty much it, really. We're, um, we're leaving Harajuku now to go to the airport. Sad face. Aww. So Emily's really sad, I'm really sad. It's been an absolutely incredible uh, honeymoon, incredible adventure, and we hope you really enjoyed the videos. Uh, there'll probably be some more wrap up at the airport, but yeah. for now, that's where we're going. It took me until getting the train to the airport to get a coffee from the machine. So, let's see how this pans out, shall we? Is it good? Well, nice. Is it sweet? It's sweetened, yeah. Yeah, I think a lot of them are sweetened. Mm. It looks miniature, it looks like you've got like a massive giant hand. I've got a massive giant hand, yeah. So we're at the airport in, in Tokyo, at Haneda Airport. Um, we've had some food, we've just sat down waiting at our gate, and Adam has found this. Pokemon it's a Pokemon machine. What? How do you? Uh, how? What is it, Adam? So I think you click this. 
stuffed toilet, Pikachu's pilot. That's and awesome. An That's so cute. You probably can't buy that anywhere else. Yeah. You oh. can see it as a lady Pikachu. Is that a lady pilot? Yeah, lady pilot. You got key ring versions. Then cute. you just got a normal Pokemon. Oh, this one's cute. That's Pikachu in a ball. Yeah. These ones are normal size ones. So we might get a Pikachu. Let's see how we feel. I'm gonna do it. What are you gonna do? I'm gonna buy this guy. This guy. This guy. Oh, he's so excited. <laughs> Bye. I'm so excited I've never seen a Pokemon vending machine. Only Japan can have a Pokemon vending machine. Oh, we got a receipt as well for it. That's nice. I'm not sure how you 12, exchange it if it's wrong. 11, 10, 10. Oh my god, it's coming in a little box. Oh. I'm so excited. Oh, Ooh. we got a Pokemon. It's very fancy. It's got the tape on it. As we've got a load of change and money to burn, so we currently have not burn, just some yen spend. left over. So, as we've got some yen left over, we've got 1,350 left. And there's a couple Ooh. of machines, and these are cheap. So, we've got Kit Kats, we've got some like white chocolate biscuits, they look like bourbons wrapped in chocolate biscuits. Yeah. It's like a brownie, there's like some things here that I don't know what they are. It oh, looks like this has come from Family Mart. It's the Family Mart collection. Got some some Kelby's. Some Pringles. I'm just going to start the 350.